so hello days hope you all are doing pretty well so today we are going to see our next video in which we are going to talk about how to receive event okay so we are going to create a class receive event and in that class which is used to receive server command then execute them at the client side okay so whatever thing is going to happen in our server side the same thing is gonna view in our client side so for that reason we are going to create this receive event class so come and open our notepad plus plus i am not going to start from scratch so basically i will go and uh, i will try to do this coding very fastly and uh, because since each and every terminology we have already used in our previous tutorial so i will be just writing the code over here and you are going to write the same thing okay if you will face any difficulty comment it below i will try to help you out socket Robo. Now we are going to make a constructor for this so that we can initialize our each and every variable. It is going to take two parameter, one is socket and another one is robo. This dot socket equal to socket and this dot robo equal to robo. Already I explained you everything about robo and socket please watch my previous tutorial so that you could not face any difficulty we need to extend our thread okay so after this write our run method public void run scanner is scanner equal to null we are gonna use scanner over here so a scanner class is basically used to get user input okay so here what we are going to get we are going to uh, get the input from our client side okay and then we are going to send the event to that client side so for this we are going to use our socket and uh, dot get input string for getting the input so let's write our scanner uh, it will be surrounded by try and catch block which exception we are going to get over here I will write it later uh, first of all we will initialize this is scanner equal to new scanner as we know and then inside this what we are going to pass from socket we are going to get the input stream get input stream get input stream okay and then after initializing of scanner we are going to use our while loop continue loop and then in this first of all we are going to get the input in our suppose one variable we will make first of all like command okay from that command uh, is scanner dot next int uh, we are going to put it into command now we are going to use one thing that is switch Switch of command minus one. So robo dot mouse press. I will tell you why we are writing this. And then scanner dot next int. Okay, so likewise do the breaking of this. So after that we have to write mouse release. So why we are using this thing is basically because I will tell you one thing. Let me copy and paste this scanner dot next extent. Okay. So whatever the command which I am going to send it from my 
client side so what type of command it is going to send you it is in the form of integer okay so let me show you one thing open your client side program and then hit this command see here for pressing mouse i have given minus one like minus two so i have given each for each and every event which our mouse and keyboard is gonna take place is given by a particular integer okay so this is going to be read in command we are going to store it and then we are going to switch it accordingly so robo dot mouse press and whatever thing we are going to provide it over here suppose minus one it means it is going to reflect it uh, mouse press because you are going to press the mouse after that we have to move toward case three robo dot key press then scanner scanner dot next int then case four robo dot key release just paste it case 5 row dot mouse move ok and for moving mouse two argument it will take So we forget to give break for each and every case to write like as usual IO exception e e dot trace. So I guess we are done with this programming. Let's try to run it out. Open command prompt. Go to see this. What is our path? Go to E server and then okay. So which thing which we have to run? We have to run our start.java because this is the only entry point for our all classes. So here only our main method resides. So that's why we are going to execute this class. So after that, in this E, then change right to server. And in server we are having Java C start dot Java. Oh my goodness! So again, 30 errors we are having. So no problem. Semicolon we forgot to give. So likewise, only error we are having. So in next tutorial we will rectify this error and then we will run our program for both client and server side. So hope you like this video. In next tutorial definitely we are going to rectify this all error and we are going to run our program for both client and server side. In next video we will complete it soon. And uh, if you really like this video don't forget to give a thumbs up and uh, hit the subscribe button also and share among your friends. Till then take care bye bye.